If you guys don't drop a like within the next five seconds, Peely said to me he will not be giving you your free Daredevil skin. Don't risk it, drop a like. The Fortnite update does drop tomorrow, and in today's video, we're going to be going over everything that you guys need to know about what's going to be happening within it, including a new boss coming to the game, including a free skin, and so much more, and including some Fortnite Mare rewards we could possibly be seeing. You guys do not want to miss out on this video. There is a lot of stuff within this video, and there is quite a lot of interesting information about the new boss coming in tomorrow's update as well but before we get into the video if you guys are picking up the new zombie skins they have returned to the zombie football skins in today's item shop make sure you guys are using my support credit code xapples56 in the item shop as i mean it's pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie it's pretty sick we also still have the recon expert skin in the item shop so it mean a lot to me if you guys actually did use my support credit code as it does help me a lot it does help me do more giveaways for you guys hashtag ad but let's get into all of the information you guys need to know about about tomorrow's update so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the new halloween battle bus we should be seeing the Halloween battle bus. I don't really know why we got the Iron Man battle bus because literally in two days time from when we got the Iron Man battle bus, which is yesterday, we're going to be getting the Halloween battle bus. So I'm not really sure why we've been given this one because it's going to be changing in a couple of days to the Halloween battle bus. Unless they have something planned for that Iron Man battle bus to turn Halloween themed. I really don't know why they chose to have it. I, I mean, it's cool, yeah, but I don't know why they've done it so late in the season as well. Come here, boy. Boogie bomb, boy. Oh, my God. Mate, there's literally no one here. Compared to yesterday's video, this place is deserted. But, yeah, getting into the first thing about this new update, we've literally just got this information now, and we're going to be seeing a free Daredevil skin where you have to compete in the new Daredevil Cup, which is going down on the 14th of October, literally a day after the update drops. So, I mean, it's going to be probably one of the coolest parts about this update because, obviously, Daredevil, I mean, this is what the skin looks like. It honestly does look pretty mad, I'm not going to lie. Probably one of the coolest, like, Marvel skins we're going to be seeing within the season. That was a bit crazy, wasn't it? Ah, that was, that was a bit crazy. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the Halloween changes on the map. Every single year, we get certain Halloween changes, like decorations pop around the map. The coolest part I think about them is the ghosts hanging from the lampposts. But we get to see big spiders and stuff like that over the new buildings. I'm quite excited to see what Stark Industries is going to look like, personally, because I think it's going to look absolutely amazing with all, like, Halloween decorations and stuff. So we get to see them around the map. We're also going to be seeing a brand new lobby. We don't know what the lobby is going to look like. They surprise us every single year. And, I mean, I'm excited for it i'm personally really excited for it these are the lobbies we've had in the past chapter two season one's lobby was actually a really big letdown we literally just had different colors like it used to be a blue background and then they changed it to like purple and black i thought they were going to do something with the new map but apparently not so this year this season is going to be the first lobby like scene we're seeing with fortnite mares like a proper lobby scene so i think that's going to be probably one of the coolest parts about this update the lobby i get really excited for the like the different lobbies they bring out every single season and the halloween one they are are just absolutely amazing obviously next season we're going to be seeing a christmas themed one so that's going to be just as cool but i'm going to go try and find some more people because there that was no one out there like it was not as popular as yesterday's video the next thing we're going to be talking about is the new boss there is a new boss coming in with this update apparently we're going to be seeing a mystique boss layered at a lazy lake so that's why i've been landing there recently i'm going to try and get used to the layout and stuff how is there still one alive but yeah we should be seeing a mystique boss come within the new update i'm extremely excited for it we could also be seeing some Halloween themed bosses. This thing is so OP. Such as like an, a zombie Iron Man. I think that would honestly be really cool. If we did get a zombie Iron Man skin. I think uh, I would honestly land more at Stark Industries just to see him. Because I think it would look pretty cool if we did get a zombie Iron Man. Because a lot of people have been wanting that. That kid had so much loot. But yeah, I'm excited for this new Mystique boss. It's going to be very cool. Apparently it's going at Lazy Lake. But we have no confirmed details yet. But the reason people have been contemplating about this. Is because her new mythic ability has been found in the game. As you guys can see 
here. This is some gameplay of the Mystique Dual Mini Uzi. It finally looks like we're going to be seeing the Mini Uzi arrive into Fortnite, and I'm extremely excited for it. Honestly, the Mini Uzi is probably one of the coolest parts about it as well. Like, a lot of people have wanted this gun, and it's been in, like, teased for absolutely ages. For about two years, this gun's been teased and leaked around, and now it looks like it's finally coming into the game with the new Mystique Boss POI. So, I'm extremely excited for this Mini Uzi. It's probably going to be extremely OP as well, because it does look like it shoots fairly like a good fire rate and it looks like it's going to do some quite a bit of damage to be fair it looks like it does a bit of damage so i'm excited for that there is all why are you okay see you later also we're going to be seeing the zombies return a lot of people don't like the zombies but i honestly think that's one of the coolest parts about fort nightmares not because like they annoy you and they help destroy builds just because the loot you can get from them is honestly quite impressive like you can get some gold rpgs you can also get like gold weapons and now there's like this stark rifle in like in the game I'm quite excited to see if we can get some Stark industry like gold weapons from the like stones you destroy because you only get the gold versions of the guns from the stones you destroy. So, I mean, it's going to be a very cool update. I'm extremely, extremely excited for it. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the free rewards. These come with Fortnite Mares every single year and we've had them for two years in a row. Okay, he was weak. The first year we did get a spray, an emoticon, a contrail, and a train glider. I wasn't actually fortunate enough to pick any of these up, but I know quite a lot of people did, and I see a lot of people actually using the glider every now and then, so I'm quite sad I didn't actually get any of those cosmetics. The second year, I did get all of them, though. So in the second year, we did get 90,000 XP. We also got a spray, a Storm King banner icon, and a Storm Sail glider. Oh, hello. Okay, shoot the ground. This start rifle, so OP. Why is everyone so bot-like bot recently? What? But yeah, as I was saying, we got a Storm Sail umbrella, which I honestly really like using. Probably one of my most favorite umbrellas within the game. And then this year is going to be very, very cool with it. Obviously, we're going to be seeing some pretty interesting stuff. We have no idea what we're going to be seeing, but it's possible we could be seeing another glider or an umbrella, possibly like this one with some ivy and a pumpkin head on it. We could also be seeing a husk skin. If you guys know what the husk skin is, we could be seeing like a zombie skin come as well in the leaked files. So, I'm quite excited for that. We also did just get some leaks about a Daredevil ability, which looks like we could also be seeing a Mystique boss and a Daredevil boss come within this update, or either one. I'm quite excited to see what we actually do get, though, because the abilities were teased, apparently, and this is what they do look like. We could be seeing a Daredevil boss. Obviously, the skin is coming in two days' time as well, so it's going to be probably one of the coolest parts about this update, like a Daredevil boss, a Mystique boss. We don't really know what we're going to be getting, but there's a lot of theories that Mystique is coming and it looks like we're going to be getting a daredevil skin where is this kid oh i want to try and use this storm ability does it even hurt no it doesn't even hurt let's just kill him but yeah those are all the new stuff coming within this update a daredevil skin and a daredevil boss would probably be amazing the mystique boss is probably going to be amazing and all of the fortnite mayor rewards are probably going to be amazing as well i'm extremely excited for this update to come out there's going to be a lot of changes we're going to be seeing a lobby we're going to be seeing so much cool stuff make sure you guys are staying tuned for the channel tomorrow remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop make sure you guys are using my support credit code xapples56 in the item shop as it does help me out a lot and it does help me out do more giveaways for you guys hashtag ad hopefully guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace